How you doing guys, Bioinformatics guy here and welcome to the very first video of a brand new series machine learning in bioinformatics. In this video we will be talking about downloading the data, exploring what's inside the data and seeing whether we can use this data for our machine learning algorithm or not. So here is the website from which you have to download the data. I will put the link in the description and you can see that since we are working on the application of machine learning in bioinformatics we are using the breast cancer data and we will be downloading the data from UCI machine learning repository which is a very well known and famous repository for uh, data sets that are used for machine learning applications and for testing the machine learning models so we can read a few details about the data that this data set is multivariate this website is saying that there are no missing values and the data was donated in 1995 so it's a pretty old data a lot of testing has been already done on this so uh, these are the sources and there is some more data set information so you have to click on this data folder and in this data folder you have to download this file this is the data file so now we have our data file and I really like to make separate folders for every task so I have made a folder on my desktop this machine learning for bioinformatics and I'm gonna put this file here so now guys I use in sublime text and as you can see that I have already opened this folder in sublime text but you can use any IDE or um, any text editor for this work you can even use the basic python IDE with so uh, we can open the data file here let me make this a bit bigger so that you can see now we can see that this data is not making any sense these are just numbers and you cannot understand what 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 is the basic meaning of these numbers um, uh, this first one is a really huge number and then there it's continued by ones and twos and we can see a 10th, 9th, 8th and 6th and 5th so uh, the data is not going to make any sense out of it on its own so whenever you download a data and the data is in this form there will be also few more files available that are going to describe the data you need a secondary file for understanding what's inside the data and what is mean by this these whole numbers okay so whenever you get a file uh, don't get scared just look for the description file so let's go to the website again and see the description file so this is the file um, breast cancer and it ex its extension is dot name so it will have the details so it will be again in our downloads folder let's get this into our inventory okay now we have the names file too let's open the names file and see what's inside this okay uh, let me make it a bit small so it's saying that this data has already been used for uh, classification and the best accuracy is achieved by one nearest neighbor so this is a machine learning model that have been used to make predictions out of this data and 93.7 percent accuracy have been gained but this research was done in 1992 so it's a pretty old research so now we implement this in much more improved classifiers so uh, I am assuming that we will get a much better accuracy than this so it's saying that there are 699 points means that there, there will be 699 uh, data values right so attribute information so this is a very valuable and important information over here it's saying that there are 11 attributes so there should be 11 columns in the data set let's see how many columns are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so there are 11 columns now it's saying that the first number is the sample code number the second is clump thickness, uniformity of cell size, uniformity of cell shape and so on. 
and the last one is also very important it is the class these nine are the basic things upon which the decision of a decision of a data point is going to be made so we have to train a model that will predict on the basis of these nine attributes okay so machine learning is just like teaching a small kid uh, a definition of something so these nine attributes are going to define uh, uh, the class of being benign or malignant all right so moving on we have the missing attribute values it's saying that there are 16 missing values and they are denoted by the question mark so this is interesting uh, this question mark is going to cause some problems if we will feed this data set directly to the machine learning models so next is class distribution and all that even though now we know what each number means um, it will be better to make a CSV file and open it in Excel and see how the data looks and see what are the different values in each attribute so let's make that csv file and we will be doing that using a python file so let's make a new python file i'm gonna name it um cs csv generator csvgen.py so our python file is ready and we have to import this data file so the best way to import a data file in python is by using the pandas library if you have watched my first video you must have installed all the basic required libraries for this series so let's start with importing the pandas library So it's going to be pd dot read slash underscore csv and then we have to put the name of the file. Let's copy the name of the file. This is the name of our file. Uh, remember you have to copy the extension of the file otherwise it won't work. So we got the name of our file. We're going to put it in the inverted commas. So this line of code will import the data and it will store it in this data variable now as we can see that there are no column names defined in this data set so let's define the column name we will do it like df dot c o l u m n s columns is equals to and in this care brackets we have to uh, put all the names of the column since there are 11 columns we will we should have 11 different names so let's simply copy the names from the names file so let's simply copy the names from the names file all right we have defined all the 11 column names you can count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 now the column names are defined sorry i made a little mistake over here um, since we have stored the data in the data variable we will write data dot columns okay and in order to save this data into a csv file we have to write this code data dot two underscore csv and next we have to write the name of our file so we will name it as data dot csv and then we have to give the function a few more details like we don't want the index so we will say index equals to none and then we also need the header so we will write down header equals to true so after running this code if there are no errors in this code I'm assuming that a new file will be generated so here is our new file data.csv so it's not looking any good in um, it's not looking any good in sublime text editor so let's move into our folder and open this file in Excel okay so as you can see that we have our data in the Excel 
and you can see that the clump thickness is of different uh, has different numbers 5 3 6 1 2 to 10 and oh here you can see there is a question mark this question mark is going going to cause a huge problem if we don't treat it well it was written in the names file that all these nine attributes are going to be from the range of 1 to 10 but this class attribute is going to be a either 2 or 4 so if it is 2 it, the tumor is benign otherwise if it is 4 the tumor is malignant right and now there are a few things which we have to do like this question mark over here and then if we are going to do the classification of data uh, to predict whether uh, uh, whether a uh, certain data point is benign or malignant we have to make it one or zeros because the training models don't work with two or four uh, if we are doing binary classification so we have to make the data binary either zero or one right um, so that's all for today in this video and in the next video we are going to work on the pre-processing of the data pre-processing is like preparing the data to be fed to the model Please do subscribe if you want to see the next video and don't forget to hit this bell icon so that you don't miss my video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you around in the next video.